As someone who joined the military right after high school, what should I do? Vote to say that 19 or 20 year old Brian Mast, who can go out there and defend his country, can't come home and defend his family or his home? That's not right. That doesn't make anybody more safe. And it doesn't address the fact that we're talking about taking away the rights of law abiding citizens. Hey everybody, I hope that you all had a great week. Now, as always, I'm here with an update from Washington, D.C. First up, a major win in the fight for clean water. The House of Representatives passed Water Resource and Development Act of 2022. Word, as it's called, it's a biennial bill that authorizes the majority of projects for water quality and water infrastructure around the country. So it is our best chance to make real progress for our community in South Florida as a whole. Now I'm excited about this year's word. It included seven pieces of legislation that I wrote. Now among those provisions was the Northern Estuaries Restoration Plan, or as we call it NERP. It's the first of its kind initiative that will require the Army Corps of Engineers to finally develop a plan to eliminate all toxic discharges from Lake Okeechobee into our coastal estuaries. I am not exaggerating when I say that our community and our waterways, this is the best, most consequential legislation that Congress has considered in two decades. It's going to make a huge difference, and it's now just two steps away from becoming signed into law. Now, also included in word is a provision for military personnel that are being forced to work in hazardous conditions around Lake Okeechobee. Now, when word becomes law, every individual who works at a place like Port Mayaka Lock and Dam, who's exposed to breathing in these toxic algal blooms for eight or 10 hours a day, day after day, week after week, month after month, they will have a note made in their file documenting exactly what their exposure was. That way, if they're facing health problems in the future, they won't have to fight to prove that it is the result of that exposure. We don't need another situation like what happened with Agent Orange and our Vietnam veterans, and this will work to prevent that. Now, also on the floor this week, House Democrats forced through a partisan package of gun control proposals. And, and I think we can all agree, what we saw happen in Texas, it's heartbreaking, it's horrific. There's, there's no excuse for that kind of evil to go out there and, and wreak havoc in a school environment or anywhere else that something like that takes place. And everybody in Congress, Republican, Democrat, Independent, anybody, they want to see something done that can stop that from happening. But unfortunately, what you saw going on in Washington this week, that's not what Congress voted on doing. Included in the package, for example, was legislation to raise the purchase age for firearms from 18 to 21. As someone who joined the military right after high school, what should I do? Vote to say that 19 or 20 year old Brian Mast, who can go out there and defend his country, can't come home and defend his family or his home? That's not right. That doesn't make anybody more safe. And it doesn't address the fact that we're talking about taking away the rights of law abiding citizens or take a bill to implement federal extreme risk protection order or a red flag law on paper, it seems like a way that you could look to address mental health issues, but in reality, you're trampling the right to due process for individuals across the country. Taking away a constitutional right, that can't be done. I do not believe that this proposal was written in a way to address those concerns. And unfortunately, what you have playing out between Republicans and Democrats, is you have Democrats right now that don't believe that we the people, that's you, that, that you the people are responsible enough or can be trusted to go out there and have a First Amendment right, to go out there and speak freely or a Second Amendment right, to defend yourself from tyranny or anything else, or a Fifth Amendment right to protect your, your process, your due process. They don't believe that that's something that you should have. We all wanna stop gun violence, but these bills, they're not the answer to doing that. Lastly, I wanna take this opportunity to remind you all about the US Coast Guard's 
proposed rule change to the operations of the St. Lucie River Railroad Bridge. In order to accommodate the Bright Line expansion, the Coast Guard is considering major change to the operating schedule that could severely impact boaters across our community, especially places like Palm City, Port St. Lucie, Stewart, and Jensen Beach. I'm concerned that the Coast Guard's goal of a more predictable schedule is code for less access. The Coast Guard wants to make the schedule where it's 45 minutes for the train to have a bridge down blocking the waterways and only 15 minutes of access for boaters to go through that waterway. This is going to mean massive wait time for boaters, unsafe waterway conditions. I'm submitting public comment this week sharing my concerns with the Coast Guard. You can use the QR code on your screen to learn more and submit your own comment. I'm going to give you this encouragement. You can complain on there about whether you like or don't like the train bridge or something else, but what's actually needed if you want to make a difference about the train bridge, you need to state the way that you believe that the train bridge should be operated, whether it should be 45 minutes of access for boaters and 15 minutes an hour for the train or anything else that you want to say. The most important thing that you can do is say what you think actually needs to happen in terms of schedule, not just complain about whether that train is going through. If you just do that, it really won't make a difference. So with that, it is always an honor to serve you here in Washington as your representative. I wish you all the best. You all take care. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.